3D visualization of warehouse location in Power BI using 3D BI. Let's get started. This is 3D SketchUp model of warehouse racking. There are several racks. I labeled each rack with the alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. I put the labeling of each rack as the identity of the rack. There are rules for naming addresses on racks. Each rack has levels 1, 2, and 3. And each rack has several columns ranging from 01 to 18 according to the width of the rack. For example, if the location name is A101, it means this location in rack A, and level number 1, and column number 1. I defined all location based on the addressing rule. This is the Microsoft Excel dataset for warehouse data. This table is for record master material. It consists several fields, the material ID field, material name, and supplier. And, another table is for record warehouse transaction. It consists of material ID, location ID, value or price of material, incoming time, and out time. Then, connect this dataset to Power BI and create the report. This is Power BI report in Power BI desktop. In this page, we can see summary of warehouse condition, such as warehouse utilization. From this report we can see, the warehouse utilization is 72%, and we can see total amount of our materials, and total location of material stock. The next page is 3D visualization of warehouse location based on material name. There is 3D visualization of warehouse location, this visual name is 3DBI. The model is imported from SketchUp model. If I select all name, 3D visualization will show all material, separate by the color for each material name. If I select filter of material name as asbestos 234, it will show the location of asbestos material name only. So with this visualization, we can know, where is the material location? Hover cursor to the palette, it will show the pop-up of location ID, and material name. The next page is 3D visualization of warehouse location based on supplier. Same with previous page, but in this page, the filter is supplier name. Besides using Power BI Desktop, we can also use Power BI Services. Publish a report on the Power BI Desktop to Power BI Service, so that the report can be opened using a browser, and shared with other users. Same with Power BI Desktop. In Power BI Service, we can view the 3D visualization of warehouse racking.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe this channel. In next video, I will show you step by step how to create 3D visualization of warehouse report using 3D BI and Power BI. See you in my next video.